There's me, awkward little Jillian. I love telling people like, oh yeah, I went to elementary school on a farm. Like not a lot of people get to say that. There were farm animals around and a pond with fish and you can go paddle the boats in the pond. And I could talk all day about all the different memories that I have from here. We have always offered scholarships here at Tate's and we've been fortunate that we've been able to help a lot of people over the years. I was a guidance counselor for many, many, many years. Uh, and I was a firefighter, uh, and actually both of us worked two part-time two part jobs each besides our full-time job. So Isaac Sharp was in my third grade class, and I taught in a public school. He thought out of the box. He was a problem solver. He was very creative. He was actually dumbing down his abilities because he didn't want to be bullied. Before I went to Tate's, uh, I was either bored or scared. I knew that this was a place where he wouldn't have to dim his light, that he could become whatever it was he was supposed to be, and I just felt God had placed me in that time, in that room, to possibly like completely change his life. I remember thinking that, that would be great, but uh, logistically and financially, there's just no way we would be able to do that. And so, I don't, really don't know everything that happened behind the scenes. I just know that she reached deep and she was able to give all three children the chance to come to our school. Isaac was very, very special. And that whole family was special. I remember he uh, was a very intelligent uh, little boy when he was in my classes. He was just brilliant, but he loved being here. Miss Myra Richardson and Miss Evelyn Stewart are still among my uh, favorite teachers of all time. And I work in the humanities now and religion. Can remember back to learning from them in the classroom a love of literature and history that has carried me through my work to this day. Isaac will graduate with a PhD in Christian ethics. Jordan finished a master's in theology at Mercer University in Atlanta and Jillian graduated from Carson Newman in May, and she is a trauma nurse at UT Hospital. Tate's really laid the foundation for my education. They, I learned how to learn. There are so many, certainly wonderful children, bright children out there that would benefit from our program. We just want to help all that we can. Education is changing pretty rapidly, and Tate's isn't. Four more would equal 12. Awesome. That is the answer. That was easy. She got it. Which one should Miss Tate ride? This one or this one? Yeah, that one? Tate's holds to their standards that they set 50 years ago when they said, we expect you to be a good person first and a good student. And that's still here. And that's pretty rare. And it's a pretty special gift. I think it's so important to have a scholarship for a first responder family because they're the ones on the front line. I was always so proud to tell people that my dad was a firefighter. But I also remember having that fear of like, is my dad gonna come home at the end of the day? They don't get the recognition that they deserve and their families deserve to thrive. To me, it's an honor to single them out, to say, we do see what you're doing and it is special and we want to, to recognize that. The scholarship is a great opportunity if you are a first responder to uh, provide a, a quality education for, for your child. I would just, I would strongly encourage anyone who's a first responder uh, to check this out and to uh, apply for the scholarship. Tate School is, it's a great place. Uh, our children got a great education here and I would just strongly encourage you to check it out.